Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to go over and see my friend Urban, uh, just lives close by. We're going to test some thermal time switches for my 6.3. Uh, so let's go over and take a look. Urban's got a 1968 uh, Pagoda 113. Uh, beautiful car, so we'll see that and you'll get to meet my friend Urban. All right, let's go. Most of you <coughs> obviously noticed that I'm not driving a 108 today, I'm driving the uh, 380 SL 107. I've been driving it a fair bit lately just to kind of make sure everything is, you know, in shape and running well. I've put about yeah, maybe nearly 3,000 miles on it in the past few months or so just to make sure everything's running nice. Uh, and yeah, it's it's a really nice little car. Um, it's um, been converted to double chain very early on in its life, I think way back in the mid 80s, I think it was done at around 20,000 miles. So it's double time in chain, gone through the whole fuel system, done all the, from fuel tank to forward injectors, all manner of different things I've done. Uh, new catalytic converter, fuel pump, strainers, uh, all that stuff, bunches of stuff, um, cosmetic as well. I still want to do the uh, seats, um, probably get a new kit from Gar and redo the seats because I am not actually holding on to this car, I'm going to probably end up selling this car sometime in the spring, but we'll see about that. Um, so just on my way to Urban's now, beautiful Sunday morning, clear sky, a little chilly, I'm going to be a little careful with some areas in the shade because it's a little icy, but um, it's a beautiful morning to go and see my buddy urban and see what he's up to and you can take a look at his car as well so there we go so tom is he had two right and, and that is my old 108 which the... is in germany now oh okay minus 20 degrees 9.5 seconds and what does the other one say the other one says minus 20 degrees 12.5 seconds. What was the other one? Nine? 9.5 seconds. Okay. Well, so okay. One is a replacement then, I guess. Well, one I point. mean, we, these are from one engine because yeah. it's from a V8. Yeah. 6.3. Yeah. So, <clears throat> to bench test that, I mean, this this guy is has basically a coil, which is wrapped around a bimetal uh, uh, tongue, if you want to call it, and that like a leaf, like a strip. Yeah, yeah, and on the bottom of it, or the end of it, it has contacts. Okay. So, in normal state is when it's cold, the contacts are closed. Gotcha. If you heat it up, it has two heat sources. One is the heating coil. Right. Or the hot water. Okay. So the the heating coil is activated by the starter. So what I do now, first of all, since we don't have that in the engine, I need to give it ground. Okay. So I'm using this small battery charger. So I'm adding, Grounding the, it. adding the ground to it. Now, the G terminal is for the coil and a W is for the ground. And the ground controls, when, when the ground is on or when we do have ground, then we have ground to the starting relay. Right. The starting relay controls the uh, 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 cold start valve and the enrichment solenoid on the pump. Right. If there is one, not all of them have. Yours did. Yours didn't have one. It's My, redundant the, the now. The newer, the newer version doesn't have that. Okay. So now what I do is I add my testing light to the G terminal, uh, W terminal, which is the ground. I'm just looking if I have ground now. Okay. I should have ground now okay. because it's cold. Right. Let me turn this thing on. Now I have this battery charger. So you're gonna... If this has ground and I put my testing light on a power source, it should light up. Huh. And it doesn't. What am I doing? Oh, there we go. Bit of a dodgy connection there, yeah. Uh, yeah, let me take this rubber boot off. Then I can get better to it. Tighten that screw. What's happening here? <laughs> this connection's okay into your crocodile clip, yeah? It should be. 
Yeah, I went off there, didn't I? Mm. Oh, there you go. Just a... Uh, Maybe this ground here. Yeah, but yeah, this, this this ground. yeah, yeah, okay. I have to have you have to kind of rub it yeah, a little the, bit. I have right? to have the switch ground. So this shows clearly that we have a ground. So this ground goes now to your starter relay. The starter relay will function because it has ground and gives it power to the cold start valve and the fuel enrichment solenoid is there. And it stays like that unless something happens. Now, what happens is if you turn the starter on, yeah. it will provide power to this G terminal. So I do that now. I use my same power source. This heats up now that coil. And we got a timing now, have we? Oh, there you go. So you saw that the yeah. heating column oil opens the switch, which drops the ground, yeah. and then your cold start aids are disabled. Yeah. And that, that wasn't that long, was it? No, it was about bit... three seconds. Yeah. It, is, it depends on temperature. Sure. We have, right now it's 43 degrees in here, that is Fahrenheit. Right. That is about so. six degrees Celsius. Okay. So as colder it is, as longer it will take. And if my interpretation is right, minus 20, that is very cold water. Yeah, then it will take 9.3. Oh, I see. Got, that's the maximum. That, that is basically gotcha. what this thing is rated. So this is the good one. This is the good one. No, the other one, I could not get any ground out of this. Oh, you couldn't? Well, we try it again. This is the input. This would be a ground. The large one is the ground output. Hmm. And there's nothing. See, so this is already open. It does not provide ground to the well, to the relay. So this is clearly, and I don't have to continue putting power on it. it the ground is already gone. Now the next test is, <coughs> we heat this thing up. Yeah. Once it's heated up, we measure the ground again. It should not be there. So here we go and get some hot water. Hot water. Look, he's got it already. Look at that. <laughs> So we got uh, hot water now from the microwave. What are we looking at? 150 odd? Yeah. 150. So this was the good one. We have to give it our brown. There we go. Now we have to measure again, just to show. This should have ground now. Yeah. Yes. So now I'm dunking it in the hot water and see what happens. It's 150, remember? It'll take a while. Yeah. Because the, the, coil, got... the coil is much quicker. <laughs> yeah. But this will be in the engine for... It's going to take a little while. Yeah. 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 yeah, there you go. So what, that is about 20 seconds or so? Yeah, I mean, it depends on your water temperature. Sure, yeah. And how cold it was. Yeah, exactly. So this thing works perfect. Nice, excellent, all right. That was a good one. Sorry about that one. <laughs> yeah, um, well, okay, so. What, what I try to do now is just for, for the sake of it, I didn't do that yet with this switch. This is the bad one. This is the bad one. So first of all, the good, the good one has the new hardware. So let's see. Okay, keep gotcha. Apart. All right. And uh, what I do is, I activate the coil. Okay. To see if it warms up. If it does something. Okay. For a little bit. So now the coil warms up. Maybe that repairs the switch. Okay, I want to do it longer. You wouldn't use a starter longer. No, no, it? right. You don't, I don't feel any heat because it goes right through that leaf. It's, the leaf is surrounded by that coil. Now we may need to wait in order to get, if it works now, it, because it's warm. The leaf is warm or that the coil is warm, but you still, we don't have any ground, see? Yeah. 
may leave it for a while. <laughs> so it's stuck. Yeah. So by activating the coil, it did not reset the, yeah. the contact. Usually, that the, the, the coil should cool off quick. Right, right. So I, I think it, you should have ground now. So this one is a, a bad boy. Eight hundred dollars. <laughs> How much? I think that's what they charge for it. Well, they're what they're, well, they're four hundred to rebuild them or to something. To rebuild them, if that is true, what I found on the internet. Yeah, something. but we've got a good one. Yeah. Uh, before that's the bad one. The other bad one I have. Yeah. So then, then you can use the good the, one. The good one. So I've got you two see, they're not yeah. exactly made the same way. This seems to be a solder. Right. And this is a solid piece. That's machined. Yeah, so somehow, yeah. somehow you you should be able to pull this apart. But okay. We probably don't want to do that. Let's look at that one a minute, because that one was a this little loose, wasn't it? This one seems to be solder. Now this is from a 280 SE. See, yeah. that's there's a solder. Right. Maybe you can pull that out, which then gives you at least you can look at it. That doesn't mean you can repair but it. But this is loose at the top here, I notice. Feel it, see? Yeah, yeah, that was the one. Maybe this would be a good candle to take apart. Because it has that notch there. Yeah. Somehow that is an indication of where is it should that, be. Is, it, is that notch uh, sort of notched in there to hold it? Or I don't it? know. Yeah, maybe that has to be pried open. Yeah. See that? That is squeezed. Squeezed to, to lock it. To lock it. That's probably what well, it is. Well, that would be nice. So what are... Yeah, they are. They're they got all little, like that. They've got little pinch. So we have to... So... Uh, I don't want to do that in a rush. <laughs> that's okay. Oh, this entire ring... Is peened is over. ...is holding it. Mm. See, they put it in there and then they crimp it. Yeah. Bastards. Yeah. That only a German can come up with that. VDO. Yeah. It's the Mako. It's not Bosch. You see, it's a VDO. They're all out from VDO. All right. Well, that's okay. I'll have a... I've got a good 631. I'll look into maybe having that... That's uh, the bad one. ...looked at. That's the one we just fooled around with, so that's the good one. See, well, the, the whole thing is crimped. But remember, I've got another good one of these at the at the shop, remember yeah, you died. Yeah, yeah. So I've got two I good ones. I did the same with the, the one you already have. Yeah, I've got two we good ones. We just did that because of the... Yeah. Cool. The All right then. So, yeah. this is Urban... Well, this is going on the YouTube, you see. So, I want to look around your car. He's, now, he's fit, fif, these are 15-inch bunt wheels. You got these from our 126 Six, one? Correct. 126, and they were brand new, weren't they? There were... Yes, yeah. because the owner bought these and they didn't like them. Wow. And it changes the handling completely, doesn't it? It's, it's a much, a, much nicer ride with that. Right, right. Because you have more... The, the, the height of the tyre is less, so there's less flexibility. Right, oh, I see. So it's nice, nicer cornering. The response is just nicer. Right, right. It's a little harder because you don't have the sponginess either. But you only lost a half an inch. That's, that's yeah, it's barely per, noticeable. Per, uh, radius. Yeah. Barely noticeable, isn't it? And, what and, and of course, you have a choice of tire. Right. 15 inches, a lot more choices than 14. Yeah, there's only a few tire oh, choices. Yes. Yeah. And what... Um, Originally, these are the hubcaps. Oh, yeah, those, yeah. All right. Yeah, and you had the hood painted recently because yeah, we had a chip on the corner there somewhere. There was a chip right here from a stone. Yeah, stone chip. And... Uh, the insurance pay for it. What uh, color is this? This is anthracite gray. Okay. That's a 123 Mercedes color. Oh, okay. That's the original color. I didn't change anything, but it was resprayed, obviously. How long is this paint job? But not not the hood, but this the... This was done 2000. Yeah, looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. So that's 24 years old. Yeah, that's great. Well, you've always garaged it, haven't you? Well, I always garaged it. Yeah, yeah. I don't drive it. Yeah. It's bad weather. Yeah, very nice. This this was never respray. This is the original part. Oh, that's the original, yeah. really. I never had that respray. 
but he took the color from that. Gotcha. Yeah, sampled it. Very nice. And the red interior. Yeah, this is not original Mercedes. This is actually a Rolls Royce. Oh, really? Yeah, because I didn't like the the, the, the red from Mercedes. Too red. Too, too red. Oh, so, so I wanted a little bit smoother. The the kit is from what company? Is it from Gar? Yeah, and you can, then they you can buy anything. You you buy the material from them, and, and then they color it. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought they were just set Mercedes colors. No, they make for more than Mercedes. Oh, so you picked that a Rolls Royce I, color? I, I, oh. I didn't do that myself. I had an upholstery guy do no, that. No, no, right. Picked, I picked that color. And what about the dash and all that? All Everything. that is the same. Was all done at once. Oh, I see. Very nice. Okay. Also the cards, the door cards. Okay, so this is a Rolls Royce color. Yeah. Interesting. I didn't know that. Because the other red was it's too a bit red. too red, isn't it? Yeah, a bit garish. It's too biting. Yeah. And on camera, this looks really red, but it's not. It's actually. Let me turn the whole carpet. I had the carpet replaced. This is the original carpet for Mercedes again. Right. And these are the cocoa mats. Cocoa mats, yeah. I have it in the parcel shelf too. Cocoa mats. That looks really nice. And I also have it in the trunk. Cocoa mats. Those were gifts. <laughs> my, my oh, they were. For me. There you go. Very nice. Yeah, I didn't know that was Rolls Royce. Okay, cool. Four speed manual. Very nice. Yeah. With the 4.5 rear differential on it. Yeah, the 3.27. And did you put that on? I, put, I changed the axle. Yeah, right. Very nice. Well, thanks, for Urban. Thanks yeah, for showing us. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that little visit over to Urban's uh, house. The uh, latter part of the video got kind of corrupted, so sorry about that. But you pretty much got the gist of it. I am going to test that one that we thought was faulty because uh, Urban, uh, I noticed in the video editing that we didn't ground it. So I'm going to retest it, but I'm pretty sure he tested it before and it was no good, but I'll give that a whirl. So I uh, hope you got something out of that video and I will see you in the next one. Take care guys, please hit like, share, subscribe and have a good one. Take care, bye bye.